and close to another 1 million in sales just by 3 o'clock today. Active 7 News reporter Angel Salcido is live with how local dispensaries are handling the high turnout. Angel. Well, Kaylin, dispensaries like Everest Cannabis have definitely seen a jump in business, but the question was never if they could sell, it's if their supply could meet the spike in demand. So I spoke to their CEO, Trishelle Kirk. She tells me they opened up five new locations and created 50 new jobs to prepare for the jump in demand that we're seeing this weekend. I pulled up to our store in Uptown and I just said, wow. Wow, and then I started texting people. Overall, I would say that demand surpassed my expectations at all of our locations. Um, it was probably somewhere around 20 to 30 percent higher than we expected. And that isn't just recreational sales. Our state has also reported more than a million dollars in medical marijuana sales so far this weekend. Kirk says she expects both of those numbers to continue to increase as cannabis becomes more accessible to New Mexicans. I'm live at Everest Cannabis, Angel Salcido, KOAT Action 7 News. Angel, thank you. As for how much money the state is making from cannabis sales, the state is expected to release the latest tax revenue on Monday.